encompassing nearly a million acres, Olympic National Park is the rainiest group of ecosystems in the lower 48 states. Incredible wa waterfall, river, rushing from snow melt. Easily qualifying as a rainforest with over 100 inches of annual rainfall per year. That's 2,500 millimeters for the rest of the world. All right, well, this is different. We've got a, yeah, we've got a lot more water. Being that Olympic National Park is as far north as northern Minnesota or almost about the same latitude as Paris, France, it easily gets as much snow as some of the extremely snowy Great Lakes regions, particularly at altitude, where the cold weather sticks around well oh into boy. the summer. Back on flat ground. Beautiful background there. It's getting hot. We're going through the avalanche field here. It's getting warmer. I'm Patrick Delaney, longtime camping and hiking enthusiast. Of course, being a flatlander from Minnesota, I'm used to the snow, but not millions of pounds of it sitting precariously on a 45 degree angle directly above me. I went to Olympic National Park with a couple of friends of mine to better understand hiking, navigating, and camping in these alternatingly hot and cold and somewhat precarious conditions. This is our journey. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, this is May uh, 14th, 2021 and i am in the olympic national park at camp mystery near the quilcene river i have hiked along with a couple friends i'm with here about five miles from a parking lot up a uh, fairly steep i'd say maybe anywhere from uh, 30 degree to 45 degree slope most of the way from about 3,000 feet up to we're at 5,440 feet. And uh, as you can see, we're in a super beautiful bowl kind of valley where you've got peaks on either side. I'm not sure if you can see over there. We've got a lot of snow on the ground still, even though it's May, which is, uh, which is quite interesting. So we're just trying to figure out what we're gonna do for camping. This is quite early season. What are you guys thinking? This is this is Vance here hey, flat, and Jim. Flat on snow is what yeah. is best. Camp, there's really no area. Over camp there. flat on the snow here. Mm -hmm. And then if we just, need to we just sleep in this. Just sleep in, in additional clothes. I don't know if that's true because uh this, okay which direction it's coming this way. So it'll come it'll come across the sky like that. Right? Yeah, so we don't get night sun. So, but, but we'll get sun in the morning right here. But also, th this is a better shot than that. You're still getting blocked here. I'm just level. saying this is actually level. I this is better. I think it goes that way. We need Patrick to break the to, uh, to tie. <coughs> to clean up a little here. I'm yeah, I don't. I think either one's going to be level. We have to stomp it down and put. Uh, we have to. Stomp it down, in my opinion, put some boughs underneath just to make it a little bit more pleasant. And we're not using boughs. We decided not to use boughs and not take anything because you're not really supposed to anyway. And uh, we're just kind of setting it up. And I also want to just briefly note that uh, this, was, this was my land uh, originally that I stamped out. And uh, these, guys, these guys took my land because they thought it was... I went along with it. <laughs> But. <laughs> Vance was saying before, he's like, oh man, I'm really sorry. Like, okay, then move your tent. He's like, yeah, no. <laughs> so, I might, I might still go in there with them for, uh, for more warmth though. We're, we're still, I'm still uh, deciding on that. We're going to see how my tent looks once it's up as well. But uh, looks to be a, quite a fine tent and quite a fine... Quite a fine tent space, if I do say so myself. Here's what this tent looks like. It's uh, Vance and Jim. Looks nice and cozy in there. I might, I might move into this one later. Uh, but I set up this tent uh, 
noticing that it's very desolate out here and we're probably the only people who have uh, camped here or are camping here in May. It's May is usually sort of an avalanche time of year and uh, there may have been some winter campers I think back in March um, or it might have just been people who walked through this area. Uh, it's a really beautiful area and just a great hike. It could make a great day hike. Add two cups of boiling water into pouch. So I'm not going to need your... So you could, well, you could put the pouch inside of that, right? Oh. You put the boiling water and pour it in here. Oh, okay. So you're not going to cook it. it in there. You just... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Which is even better. That makes so it, it makes it faster. So got our little jet boil going. And you got you got all the water you need in here for that? Need more water. Do you have a... Yeah, you can use some of mine. Okay, yeah. It also says that rehydration that. time doubles for every 5,000 feet of elevation gain. Our yes. Are set for 5,000 feet. Also perfect. Yeah, perfect. There you go. That's a, that might be a cup. You said two cups you need? No, I had like I need 400 and some milliliters, and I did like just under 400. So oh, okay. Yeah, that should be good then. Right, I'm gonna see if I can find Jim. Got this area nice and packed down now. Oh, here's Jim. What did you do? Filled up some just, water. just filled up some water. How's the how's the water filling That's, experience? Uh, good, you know, I've got half filtered, half unfiltered, and I think that'll make me half as sick. <laughs> We're gonna go show what it's like to get some water. All right, there's a nice, beautiful stream. You can see how deep that snow is and I got to figure out a way to get down there. We've had several different paths we've been making and uh, the snow kind of collapses as you're as you're going down. It's a little bit treacherous. Directly from the stream because it's all it's all just melted snow so I'm kind of gambling a little bit. You really should Best practice is to, is to always filter, uh, but um, I don't know, there's just a lot of snow here and I feel pretty good about this water. Jim is over here making tea. Yeah, that's a lot of tea that was put in there. It really that, expands, it, huh? Well, I think you probably should mix it, grab a little stick. Is that a spooner? Oh yeah, stick might work. But I think that was just, like I said, twice the amount of tea you needed so my bad on that but that should be good I'd like to hear your thoughts on that no there's uh it is spicy all right we're closing out the night here got our food bag hung up although we really don't expect any bear visitors it's uh you know again extremely snowy here what's that would they notice uh something in the tent uh with yeah us? yeah so you're supposed to put toothpaste and stuff but why is that? Because it, we have a strong smell, right? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I think they're more, I don't know. I think it's partly a safety thing, best practice thing. Yeah, I think it's it's yeah, a good, good question. But yeah, we're, uh, we're closing out the night here. And uh, just wanted to give a cool, nice, beautiful picture of that peak over there with the snow and the sun coming through. Just looks amazing. Uh, Jim, any final thoughts for the day, final report of the day? Good day, we're gonna hike through the pass tomorrow. We're excited. We'll see how cold it is tonight. Highs and lows of the hike for you? I guess you you killed it. You didn't seem to have a lot of lows at all. I thought it was a great experience. First time carrying a pack this heavy and it, yeah. and it felt pretty good. Shoes, uh, shoes a little shoes, wet. Shoes, wet, cold. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes And then we'll tomorrow. see how the sleep situation is. I have a 15 degree bag, they each have zeros. And so, we'll see. We'll see, hopefully, hopefully you're warm. Okay, well, yeah, good luck with that. Uh, this morning, and um, I can just hear Jim and Vance getting up. I thought I'd talk about a couple things here. There's my boots sitting in the sun. I got a little bit wet from yesterday, I think mostly from just snow coming over the top of them. Um, I do have gaiters, which are uh, something you put on the well, I can just show you. They're basically something you put over the top of your boots. And you zip them up, but 
We were just moving too fast. I just wasn't thinking. I didn't put them on to prevent that. I, I'm going to do that today for sure. And I was able to give my wife a call last night. We actually have 4G service up here, which was really weird because down below at the parking lot and for miles and miles through the park, there was nothing. There's not really any cell phone reception, but there was there was 4G, so that's where we started out, there at that parking lot. Went up along the trail here to the north side of the river. Got further and further along, away from the river. Crossed it at one point. Um, then it kind of snakes along, goes even further from the river here. Crosses a bunch of different waterfalls and interesting stuff. Um, and then finally we hit snow somewhere around here. And then there were some avalanche fields where there had obviously been avalanches uh, very recently. And then we finally made it up to where we are now at Camp Mystery. It was a mystery to find. It was a mystery to really locate it. And we were kind of walking around in circles for a while, but we're quite sure we're in the spot now. But today we're thinking of going up over the pass, try to get to around 6,000 feet, maybe go up to some of these peaks. Um, but probably not just because of the just because of avalanche danger it looks like that goes up uh, probably almost to 6600 on this map from what I can tell um, we may try to go to the shelter but I think probably going to these lakes is is out of the question it's just it's probably too too snowy and too slow but we'll see <sighs> We're getting ready to start our trek. Uh, we're going to be going up the mountain that way. And we are starting off by filling up with water. So I'm just sitting here because this area below is just about to collapse and I'm probably the lightest one. They're just going to throw stuff to me and I'll fill it up and then we'll be on our way. Oh, look, uh, watch out for that. That's a tree there. That's gonna collapse. I'm just following the tracks I see. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah, this is very enjoyable. our way up the perilous trail. Oh my god. Look at that. The Pacific Ocean. Right? Or is it it's the sound? Sound of what? Sound of sound. Puget Sound. Got people up on the hill here. All right, we're just about to make it over the pass. Let's see what's on the other side. Can you see the other side? Oh, wow. Well, there you go. I think here might be the trail to go to the boulder shelter. Oh, so we have to go back down and then go over to boulder shelter. I was thinking, yeah, we would the trail like that way. I mean, you can tell, there's no way we're right. making those legs. I mean... We have no idea where we are going. First of all, G rating. Second of all, you're right. Every swear that you do yeah. is work for me. Sorry. I have to beep it out. Oh, bleep? Well, it's a beep. <laughs> All right, we are leaving the snow line here. Uh, leaning up onto some rock.
going up towards Buckhorn Mountain. A little bit precarious here. What's that? <laughs> yeah. It's intimidating. Yeah, this is good. Should have brought your chair. You brought your chair when you didn't need it, and then you didn't bring it when you need it. <laughs> we have kind of a running uh, chair uh, debate. Touch that right there. What kind of rock is that? It's very sharp. It's ouchy ouch rock. That is super well, so sharp is and ouchy. It's on the ground either. Oh my gosh. It's brutal. How does this even get formed? It's like little spikes and razor blades. It's just a rock made of razor blades. And then it's just full of razor blades. Just finished Marmot Pass. And uh, we have been going up here and we're about to hit the edge of the ridge line up there. And from that ridge line, continue on to the peak. We found a trail. Coming over another peak here. We're not at the top yet. Oh wow. Oh, that breeze feels amazing. That breeze is great. So much better than down there. stretch before Buckhorn Mountain. We can see the trail before us. <clears throat> the final push. Rainier over there. The sound. And just amazing sights in all directions. It's getting to be a little bit of a scramble back there. Yeah, I think I think you're at the top there. Yeah. Treacherous. Seattle is a big hill in between us and Seattle, but I think it's right there. I mean, I think it's right there. Yeah. Tall, a lot of tall buildings. That has to be it. It looks so tiny. And it looks, the tower looks at the near, so if it was over there, it wouldn't make sense. Yeah, it's facing, Seattle faces south a little bit. <laughs> you could be working here if you had, you might have LTE up here. Maybe. You have your laptop. Yeah, they said the order's coming in on Wednesday. I said Wednesday. Can you imagine, like, walking up with somebody up there? <laughs> no, Wednesday, not well, Thursday. Were, just one. And then if you, like, actually made a mistake of cold, you'd be like, yeah, that was, that, that was when I was at 5,000 feet. Yeah, that's not, <laughs> I was low on oxygen. Our elevation is almost 7,000 feet. We're at 6,900 and something. So we might actually be higher up than Buckhorn Mountain. Whoa. Whoa. You want to take turns? You were a little bit low. I, I say keep going. Keep going? Yeah. I'll yeah. take three and then we'll switch. Sure. Do five. Do five. five. Okay. Last low. Oh, it's so close. High. Really high. A little high, bit high. Too high. Less than before. 
High but closer. High and straight. Don't know. Left maybe. Low. Low. High. Hey, are you? Low. Low. Super high. high. Dang it. Low. Low. Nice. Yes. All right, we're pack it up. Pack Let's it go away. back. Bang it away. Bang it away. You got a couple left. Oh yeah. Uh, sure. I'll, I'll shoot these one rapid fire. Yeah. That's the way to do it. All right. Now our cleanup. Yep. Kind of hot. how you can't see them and then you walk a different <laughs> I know and, and then kind of the glare yeah right here. Right here. we should melt these down and make you a spoon much faster going down through the snow Aiming at the target in his head And every broken man Finds his idle hands Grasping at tomorrow's promised land All right, we made it back to Camp Mystery And I've been thinking After a nice run down the mountain there's our nice refreshing stream time we got 3 13 p.m all right we're saying goodbye to camp mystery and heading back down the mountain it was fun while it lasted sun's coming up time to get going Thanks.